Hello and welcome to this special edition of the Homeland Security Report. I'm David Jones. Air-to-air -air missiles. The somewhat popular saying that air-to-air -air combat has passed from the world has not affected the planners of future Israeli weapon systems. While in recent combat, the Israeli Air Force, the IAF, carried very short-range missions, mainly to suppress the launch of rockets into Israel. Planners do not think that this type of combat marks the shape of things to come. Based on this assumption, powers that be decided to spend billions of US dollars on purchasing the F-35 stealth fighter. They also decided to invest in weapon systems that various sources have tried to portray as obsolete. The best example is air-to-air -air missiles. Rafael, the Israeli development house of this type of weapon systems, has achieved numerous very important milestones in the development program of a sixth-generation air-to-air missile. Rafael is currently developing an advanced air-to-air -air missile. For the first time, the Israeli company has last year confirmed that fact on the record. A senior company official said last year that Arab countries' air forces have lost much of their potential in recent years, but this may change. Python 5 air-to-air -air missile used by the IAF and other air forces worldwide is considered one of the most advanced generation 5 air-to-air -air missile. Sources say that based on past experience, the company is working on a very advanced, very surprising missile that will surpass any other air-to-air -air missile in the world. Python 5 is a Generation 5 air-to-air -air missile. It's the newest member of the family of Python air-to-air -air missiles. This missile can engage enemy aircraft from very short ranges as well as near beyond visual range. Python 5 is the most accurate and reliable anti-aircraft weapon used by the IAF and one of the most sophisticated guided missiles in the world. Experts have said in many occasions that the Python 5 is a super agile air-to-air -air missile. The Python 5 has a length of 3.1 meters, a wingspan of 64 centimeters, and a diameter of 16 centimeters. The weight of the missile is 105 kilograms. It can carry an 11 kilogram high explosive fragmentation moorhead equipped with an active laser proximity fuse. Thus far, Raphael has only admitted it is developing the building blocks for a sixth generation air to air missile. Raphael has said that the Stunner missile developed for the David Sling rocket interceptor system is the basis for any sixth generation air to air missile, which the Israeli company may develop in the future. The advanced dual sensors to be used in future air to air missiles developed by Raphael will probably involve the dolphin head nose section that was used in the Stunner missile. The dolphin head shape allows the two seekers to function simultaneously without any interference, even in extreme conditions. The Stunner uses a multi-pulse rocket motor and is equipped with a dual seeker. According to company sources, this will ensure high sensitivity under all weather conditions and immunity to deception and countermeasures. The Lockheed Martin-made F-35 fighter jets the IAF will be receiving as of 2017 will be armed with very advanced air-to-air -air missiles as an integral part of their combat suite. Raphael prefers to discuss guidelines rather than specific work that is being done in this area. The company believes that even air-to-air -air confrontations that start in long ranges finally end in short range. This is why the pilots of advanced fighter aircraft have targeting helmets. A senior Raphael official was not ready to elaborate on the company's next air-to-air -air missile, but said that it is obvious that it should be better than the AIM-120 AMRAAM. It should have the long-range capability with a similar one in close range. Raphael is also manufacturing a radar-guided air-to-air -air missile known as DARBY. The DARBY missile is a medium-range active radar seeker missile. It's 362 centimeters long and has a wingspan of 64 centimeters. The missile's diameter is 16 centimeters. Its weight is 118 kilograms, including a 23 kilogram warhead. The missile's guidance sensor is an active radar. The beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles used to compromise radars, but nowadays Raphael knows how to confer a greater range to IR missiles too, in spite of the fact that their nose section is not designed aerodynamically. This used to be a limiting factor. 
But the need for radar-guided air-to-air missiles still exists, mainly because they are less affected by EW, that is electronic warfare countermeasures. To conclude, air-to-air missiles are still an operational requirement and Rafael is leading the global market. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching this edition of the Special Report. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, please click the link below.